Hey, if you just received the Darwin Baby Ape EOLARS version, then this video is for you because I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to set it up by scratch. Before we go into the nitty gritty, here are the topics that we'll be going through. Just feel free to skip to the ones you like and the ones you need. Alright, let's go. First, we're going to flash the ExpressLRS version from 2.0 to 3.0 for this receiver. And the reason behind is all my radios are set up as ExpressLRS 3.0 or above. And if this is in 2.0, it's not going to buy with whatever is 3. The rule for ExpressLRS is whatever it's 2, it's going to buy with 2. Whatever it's 3, it's going to buy with 3. Uh, the first number matters more. So we're just going to flash this from 2.0 to 3.0. But if you have your radio set up as 2.0 and this is also 2.0, then you can just skip this and since you can bind directly. Okay, so the easiest way to find out what uh, ExpressLRS version your uh, receiver has is by going to the computer and plug in your drone and we're going to physically connect it via Wi-Fi. Okay, so you're going to see the Express LRS right now is uh, flickering. The light is flickering slow, but after 20 seconds, it should start blinking very, very fast. And that's an indication that it's in the Wi-Fi binding, uh, Wi-Fi ready mode. So now we're able to see that the receiver light is blinking like very, very fast, which this is an indication that it's Wi-Fi enabled. Okay, so let's just go to our computer and we're going to connect this drone receiver via Wi-Fi. Okay, so we're just going to switch to the computer right now and you're going to click, click the Wi-Fi icon and you're going to see that uh, there's an Express LRS icons popping out the Wi-Fi and we're just going to hit connect. And if you're ever asked for any password, the password is going to be Express LRS all over case. Once the connection has been uh, established, an ELRS web page should automatically pop out. And at this page, we will be able to spot our, the name of our receiver, which is the Beta FPV 2400, and the firmware version at 2.2. So now we can close this and unplug our drone so we can go to uh, the Express LRS configurator to build the firmware to flash it. Okay, so now we're at the Express LRS configurator. If you haven't installed the ExpressLRS configurator, I have leave a link below at the description so you can go download it and re, uh, just install it. Okay, let's go down column by column to show you to demonstrate how to build our uh, firmware. So this first column, this is basically what is the version of ExpressLRS and we're just going to pick the most current one, which is 3.0, uh, 3.20 actually, and the target as we have already know the name, so it's going to be the Beta FPV 2.4 GHz family, and you're going to pick the device. The device is going to be this one if you're flying the Baby Ape. And the flashing method, we're just going to change it to Wi-Fi. Make sure you select Wi-Fi. If you're doing Wi-Fi, don't otherwise it's not going to work. And mode, we're just going to leave it as standard. For the binding phrase setup, this is something that is up to you. You, this is my binding phrase, you can set whatever you like. Just make sure that your binding phrase is the same as your uh, radio. So my radio is also having this binding phrase, so my receiver will need the same binding phrase in order for them to bind. And we're just going to hit build. And we're just going to wait for it. Now we have completely built our uh, firmware and this is the one we're going to use later so just make sure you save it in somewhere you can find it so I'm just going to put it in tab so I can just grab it later. Okay let's switch back to the drone itself. Once we have connected to the Wi-Fi again the same web page is going to pop out. This time we're going to scroll down and go to firmware updates and you're going to choose files and just choose the one we downloaded, uh, the one we built. And you're just going to open it and then you're going to hit update and update successful once the drone has been updated the receiver is going to reboot and we just have to reconnect the Wi-Fi again for it to reflect the new version of the Express LRS so we can see that receiver is going to work 
you can see now that this has been changed to 3.0 version. Okay, so we have completed the flashing of the Express OLRS firmware from 2.0 to 3.0, and also we entered our binding phrase into the receiver, which it's now same as my radio. So by theory, once I plug in the battery, these two should automatically bind. I don't need to hit a bind button or whatsoever, so let's give it a try. Okay, you have see that the telemetry has been recovered and the motors are spinning, so it's bound together. But what happens if you skip the first step and wanted to just bind directly? There's an easy way of doing so. We're going to unplug our battery. And what you're going to do is, what we're going to do to force the receiver to go to binding mode is by plugging in and unplug it fa uh, three times very fast. So we're going to do it like this. Okay, let's just do it four times just in case and plug in the battery all the way. So in general, in general, this will force the receiver to go in binding mode. But since I have the binding phrase punch in, so it's just going to bind it whenever it has a chance. So after you've done this part, you're going to just come into your uh, controller and go to Express LRS. And you're going to hit, you're going to wait until it finish loading, and you're going to scroll down here, and you're going to hit bind. So this should bind as long as you have the same version 2, 2, 2.0 to 2.0, 3.0 to 3.0. So it's very simple. Let's come back to the computer and we're going to set up our modes and perimeters in beta flight. We're going to plug in our drone with the USB cable. You should hear a connection sound like that. Okay, let's go to. Let's make it bigger and we're going to switch to the computer screen. We're now going to go to beta flight configurator and if you haven't downloaded and installed beta flight configurator I left the link there so you can just go download it and install it. Okay so once you're in here we're just going to click connect and once you connect you can basically see your drone right here on the first page and if you move it it's going to go flip up and down which means this is the gyro system that you can see. And the most importantly, let's just go to our receiver tab, which this receiver tab is going to show us our stick input. So if, you, if I move the throttle up and down, you can see that this is going up and down. The, the throttle tab is going up and down. And if I move the rest, it's going to do the same. Okay, this is done. Let's go set up our modes. So at modes, you can see that there are already presets available. And the goal here is when we toggle a switch, we wanted to make sure the yellow dot falls into the yellow bar. So for instance, my aux one, this one, aux one, is set up here. And when I flip it, you can see that the little dots is going into the yellow bar. And this is what I want. So when it's a yellow bar, it's going to arm, and when I unflip it, it's going to disarm. All right, same for the rest. So there's only angle mode right now, and my aux 2 is set as this one. So if I flip it, this is in angle mode, and I don't like it. I want the angle mode to be at the bottom. So we're just going to come here and pull the bars like that. And when I flip it, it should go to the middle. Now it's an air mode, and this is also in air mode, which is acro. Okay, so let's add one more. So I have a horizon option, and we're just gonna hit add range. So you can see right now, the little dot is in the horizon range. And so when I flip it up and down, wait, this is wrong. Let me go back. We have to set the one to aux two, and when you flip, the switch right now, you can see that on the bottom, right now it's in angle mode. And if you go in the middle, it's going to be in horizon. And when you flip it to the top, it should be air mode. Okay, so we're just going to hit save. Okay, so the setting has been completed. And I believe we can go out and start binding our VTX. As the baby ape is basically an analog drone, 
you can bind it with mostly any analog goggles. So you will have the option from as low as the Beta FPV VR02, or you can even bind it with the uh, DJI V2 goggles with an analog module. You need the analog module to do it. Since I'm mostly going to be flying with this one, I'm just going to show you how to bind with this one. Let's begin. We're going to first by starting to plug in the battery to our drone. And we're going to power up our DJI goggles. And we're going to power up the analog module. So in the DJI goggles, you are going to have to go to the settings and go to AV input. It's hard to show you because I don't have the OSD transfer out. There's a little button in front of the analog module. We're going to long press and hold the black button. And you're going to see that there is going to be a thing called band scan. And you're going to select it by pressing it. This should automatically tell you which is the strongest signal that the drone is sending out. So right now it is B1 and we're just going to press it again to select it. And it should automatically bind. And you, now you can see my messy table. Right, everything is coming out from the drone right now. All right, this is how it is and how easy it is. So generally any analog goggles should have the same like man scan function or channel scan function. All right, so we can go out and test this thing out. Perfect. The footage is coming from directly from the flying camera. It leaves the cadets end and going directly into the DJI goggles. Overall, for something that's hundred dollars, this thing flies really, really well, and it's such a bang for your buck. Whoever buys it, you're not gonna regret it. All right, so if you have additional comments or questions, please feel free to leave in the comment section. And if you like my content and what I'm doing, please help me subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.